Every time I zig you zag I like coffee, tease your bag Though it makes no sense, it's true There's no me without you Till death is filmed in front of a live studio audience Oh my god, that was so much fun Uh-huh, yeah We looked at 18 wedding venues in 9 hours I think I'm gonna go stick my head in the microwave And blast this day out of here <laughs> Sweetie, a little more support. Your only daughter's getting married. Honey, I've been very supportive. I told you I liked the first place we saw. That was Walgreens. <laughs> they had plenty of parking. You know what? You are always fine with the first thing that you see. Well, exactly. I, I mean, if I see something that's fine, I stop. That's how I chose this house and this belt and <laughs> you. <laughs> I wonder if the belt in the house cry in the bathroom as much as I do. Sorry about that. We were just uh, hanging out in the car because uh, we needed a minute away from you. <laughs> Allie, I was just telling your father how much we thought that the wedding would be great at the old train station. We do? Yeah. No, see, I don't think that we do. Oh, sure we do. Doug, tell her. Yeah, Doug. What do you think? Uh... Okay, well, um, I didn't love the train station, and uh, I don't, I don't think Allison liked it at all. Um, and of course, Mr. Stark never saw it because he was outside, busy trying to hit a yield sign with an orange. Well, I didn't hit the sign, but I got a jogger in the back pretty good. <laughs> Here's the thing, you know, we all have opinions, and of course they're all valid, but I think there's one thing we can get behind is I love the train station. Right, Mom, I just thought since it was my wedding, I could have some say in something. Oh, honey, you do, you have say? Yeah, I told you, you could pick the color of the trim of the invitation, as long as it's some shade of gold. Right, you did, and, and I picked the lava gold. Right, that didn't work. So I, I phoned the printer, and, and I told him what you really meant. Daddy! Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, man, you all right? I was taking a nap, and I woke up, and I had, like, 30 texts from you. Help me. I'm dying here. Meet me in front of the Liberty Bell with a blunt object. Well, Joy was dragging me around all these wedding venues, and... At a certain point, I realized that you were the only friend I had with hands strong enough to squeeze the life out of me. <laughs> ah, the wedding plans are in full swing. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Let me ask you guys something. You guys got someone to officiate the ceremony yet? No, why? Well, thanks to the internet, I'm a fully ordained minister and certified scuba instructor. So I'll be happy to offer my services on land or on sea. <laughs> oh, OK. W wow, thanks. Thanks for that offer. Um, my, my uncle's a pretty big bishop, so, <laughs> you, you know, it's, it's either you or him. <laughs> well, I just let you guys know that I, I have done one, and although I did accidentally marry myself to the bride, <laughs> it was magical. Babe, do you like these silver bamboo chairs for the wedding? Pull the trigger. Make all my dreams come true. <laughs> Hey, oh, do you think that we should put one of those, um, disposable cameras on all the tables? That's what the world needs. More pictures of your fat cousins. <laughs> At least my cousins don't stay with us and wet our couch. <laughs> okay, so here is a tentative budget that I've come up with. Yeah. No. You, you can't just say no. Well, you've delivered your fair share of no's in this bed. I think I'm entitled to one. I'm sorry, I just assumed that you knew how much weddings cost. And I assumed you knew how very poor we were. Remember when that finance guy projected I could retire? At age 81. Come on, we do fine. Honey, just last week you pointed at my paycheck and you laughed out loud. Well, that's not because of the amount. It's just... <laughs> I just laugh every time I see your middle name. I do. I will say it once again. Meryl can be a man's name. Uh, Eddie, this shouldn't come as a surprise to you. We've been discussing this wedding for weeks now. Come on, honey, don't throw that at me. You know I don't listen. All right, all right, look. 
let's 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 once and for all get into this. You you okay. you, you know I want Allison to have a great wedding <laughs> just like you do. But but this stuff here, we're not even in the in the same ballpark. Well, what do you want to do? Let's start with the food. Oh come on, do we really have to feed these people? <laughs> You better jump on board here, because we only have one shot at this. And if Allie's anything like her mother, she's going to be way too lazy to get a divorce. <laughs> hey. Wow. So much of you, so close to my food. Uh, I'm just uh, looking for my midnight fiber, sir. Is that what you wear to bed? Oh, no, I couldn't possibly sleep this restricted. I just uh, threw these on in case I ran into somebody. Thanks for the courtesy phone. <laughs> Slim pickings. Guess I'll just rock this bag of lettuce. You okay, sir? You seem a little tense. Yeah. Just all this wedding planning. You know? Joy is just getting all nuts. And, oh. yeah. oh, this, this chair's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's driving Allie kind of crazy, too. Truth be told, I'm not here just for this crispy treat. Kind of had to take a break from all the scary anger and the hitting. So, Allison's not too happy either, huh? Uh, no, not, not too happy. Hmm. Listen, you have to remember, you, you know, Joey has a lot of ideas in her head, but this wedding is about you and Allison. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Now, of course, I'm sure I'm a lot more spiritual than most, but um, I, I believe that all this materialism and... Food and music and open bars that <laughs> go into a wedding. I just, I just think it kind of takes away from the. All right, I'm just gonna say it. The love. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who needs like a, a? Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep them ten and two. Okay. <laughs> well, as I was saying, um, who needs like a? A huge ceremony with like a grand hall when you could have like seven um... people and an ice cream cake on my driveway. That's what it was. Well, I was thinking oh, more okay, along. Look, 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 look. Let's not get bogged down in the details, okay? That's that. That's not important. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna have this disgusting display of wealth, then go with Joy's idea. If not, let's just keep it simple. Yeah. I mean. When Allison and I first realized we were meant to be together, we were hiking in the Poconos, and we found this great spot called Eagle Rock, and that's where we first made love. And it was, uh, it was so beautiful. It was so simple. And afterwards, a bluebird landed on the small of my back and chirped us a song. I'm gonna go to bed now. Meryl Stark. Present. <laughs> what did you do? Well, I'm, I'm gonna say nothing until I know what you have on me. <laughs> Doug and Allison have eloped. What? Mm -hmm. And I quote, Dear Mom and Dad, we've eloped. We love you so very much, Doug and Allie. P.S. Dad, you were right. What were you right about, Eddie? How my wife gets more beautiful every day. <laughs> What, what did you do? You, you discussed with them how much you didn't want to spend money on this wedding, didn't you? I... Okay, look. First of... Uh, what? You did, didn't you? No, no, I... I, I oh, okay, look, may, maybe I did, but I can tell you I, I did not want them to elope. That is exactly what you wanted them to do. No, no, it isn't. I, I want to be there. I, I want to walk my daughter down the aisle. I just wanted it to be at one of Philadelphia's lovely parks. <laughs> 
for you to decide. It is not your wedding. Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's yours. <laughs> oh, what the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, I can tell you what the hell it means. The kids do not want to get married at a at a train station or a soft pretzel factory or an aquarium. That That's your bag, weirdo. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. Those places, they're whimsical and romantic and fun. The aquarium is booked with a wedding every weekend until June. Well, I don't know why the penguin house smells like what I can only assume would be penguin poo. I did not want them to get married in the penguin house. I just thought it would be cute if all the groomsmen took pictures with the penguins, you know, because they're all wearing tuxedos. Because all the penguins are wearing tuxedos. You think they're wearing tuxedos? How, how is that not whimsical, romantic, and fun? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask your daughter? Oh, wait, you can't, because she went running and screaming from her psychotic mom. Her psychotic mom? <laughs> You know, let's not use hurtful words. I, I yeah, I haven't used any hurtful words. Yeah, but I can tell you were a teen up a doozy. <laughs>for instance, never tell your woman that if she thinks she could do better than you, she should. Because <laughs> she can. And she will. And she did. You know what? Just go away for a minute. We're inside of a car together. But, but just don't look at me. Just just turn away. I'm gonna keep my stuff together till we get to the rest stop. Hello? Hey, Allie, it's Mom. You guys are okay? Uh, yeah, we're fine. Listen, Mom, please do not try and talk me out of this. No, 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 I'm, I, I'm not trying to talk you out of it. I just, Allie, I just want to make sure that you, this is what you really, really want. And it is what I really, really want. Well, it's not what I want. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't spend 18 hours pushing you out of me so you could totally bone me on the most important day of your life. There you go. That's a sweet honey that brings the flies back to mama. Now, I want you to tell me where you are going. No, mom, I can't tell you where I'm going. You have a good idea to alienate yourself from your parents. You know, you might have to live with her again. The spouse might change the locks. And she can. And she will. And she did. Who is that? Uh, that's Kenny. He's performing our ceremony. Oh, fantastic. Kenny's going to be there, and I'm not. But it's two weeks ago, you thought the guy's name was Benny. Kenny's there? Yes, Kenny's there. Let me talk to him. Hello, Mother Stark. Listen, I, I know you love us, and... Okay, wow, that's that's some pretty harsh language. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that, that you don't mean that, and I'm going to go ahead and forgive you. Okay, wow, that one's going to be slightly tougher to forgive. Um... Look, look I'm, I'm sorry. You can yell at me all you want, but I will not tell you where we're going. You know? What's up, Eddie? Yeah, we're headed to Eagle Rock. Oh, little. Oops. Sorry about that. I'll tell you what. To make up for it, I'm going to baptize you both for free. All right? All right. They're going to Eagle Rock. The hell they are. Well, where are you going? We are going to find them. But it's pouring out there. Oh, shut your pie hole and put on your giant windbreaker. You know, all of this is your fault. My fault? Yes, you sent them away screaming because of your, your binders and your butter sculptures. Okay, for one thing, they are not butter sculptures. They are ice sculptures, and they symbolize the fleeting nature of life. Yeah, they symbolize hundreds of dollars melting into a puddle. And, and, and listen, why have you turned this into your thing anyway? Do you really think that silver bamboo chairs is, is going to give them a better wedding? Well, you know, that maybe that is the point, because I kind of always wish that we had a nicer wedding. I mean, our parents totally cheaped out. Uh, hey, your parents cheaped out. Mine didn't. Oh, oh, that's right. Your parents threw us a fantastic rehearsal picnic. There were eight kinds of chips. Eight. All I'm saying is that we had a, a cheap wedding hall. The food was disgusting. And your cousin, DJ Steve, he sucked. He played Private Eyes like five times. 
All right, all right. Now, so you just gave me two honey mustards back to back. We're supposed to alternate honey mustard with barbecue. Now, now, now my mouth doesn't even know what to feel. Oh, I'm sorry. I was focused on missing our only daughter's wedding. I, I, I seem to have lost track of your dipping sauce rotation. Oh, all right. Well, just please try to keep your head in the game. Now you're going to have to do two barbecues back to back to balance it out. How about I shove all these nuggets up your keister? As long as you alternate honey mustard barbecue, I think it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, milkshake me. So you really hated our wedding, huh? Babe, the wedding sets the tone for the entire marriage. I, I want Allie and Doug to, to go out into the world and, and into their life together in a special way. That's why I want the nice chairs. I don't want them to have a $2 folding chair life. Like we do? Mm, that's not what I meant. Well, just for the record, I, I loved our wedding. I don't remember the chairs, I don't remember the food, but you know what I do remember? Mm. Your eyes because I was looking at him all day. Really? Yes. And your cleavage. I was checking that out, too, along with Rabbi Goldstein. <laughs> Watch out. This weather is crazy. I'm, I can't even see the road. Well, pull, pull off for a second over there. Huh? Pull over there. There. Can't believe we're actually going to miss Allie getting married. I'd have to be so controlling. Oh, come on, you're not that bad. It was my fault, too. I mean, but I have to be such a cheap bastard? This is the part where you're supposed to go, oh, you're not that bad either. Oh, you're not that bad either. You know, I may not have loved our wedding, but I sure do love the guy I married. Maybe we should just go home. No way. Our daughter is getting married on this mountain, and I will be damned if her mother is not going to see it happen. Mm -hmm. So are you folks in town for the Pinecone Festival? I got a three-pounder coming in from Ohio. No, 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 no. We're just passing through. I'm gonna marry these two up at Eagle Rock. You know, once the rain lets up and the mud dries and the mosquitoes stop drinking my blood. <laughs> well, don't you worry, sweetie. Once I drain the van and we get back on the road, you and I will be married before you know it. Mm. Hey, Allie. Oh. oh hi. Mom, Dad, what are you guys doing here? Well, well, we went looking for you guys and we saw Doug's van. Hi, hi, Doug. Hey. Hi. Listen, I, I don't care where you get married. I just want to be a part of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Me too, but you know what? I, I think we should do it after the storm because I'm, I'm, I'm a magnet for lightning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. When it stops raining, we can all hike into the wilderness and, and stop by Eagle Lake and have a family cleanse. Hey, Kenny, only immediate family, though. I'll get over it. Then after the cleanse, it's just a brisk three-hour hike to base camp and a quarter-mile vertical free climb up to the summit. So uh, we may want to carbo load. Oh, and keep your head on a swivel, because it is bobcat season. Well, like I always say, it isn't a stark wedding without somebody getting their genitals mauled. Huh? OK, so uh, let's do this. All right. Okay. All right. No. Why? What's wrong? Everything is wrong. I don't want to get married on Eagle Rock. Whoa, whoa, you, you don't want to get married in the first place that we made love to each other? No. And what is up with you and doing it outside? <laughs> I mean, at first I thought it was kind of spontaneous and fun, but then it was just like over and over and over and over and over and over. Okay, you trying to tell me that you'd rather make love inside? <laughs> what? Yeah, Doug, I would. I don't like doing it on rocks. I don't like doing it on the sand. And I really don't like doing it on your natural vine hammock. OK, so you're telling me you're not aroused by the sensual textures of nature? Uh, uh, excuse me, I, I see you have guns here. Do you sell bullets? Doug, listen, I just want to have a normal wedding with the people I love. Oh, honey, I'm so happy to hear you say that. I'm so sorry that I was so pushy. 
Yeah, and, and you know what? I, I'm sorry that I was so cheap about what it was going to cost. <laughs> I want to tell you both that I am prepared right now to pay up to $1,000. Thank you, Dad. That means a lot to me. We just, we want you to, we want you to be happy. That's right, happy. Right. Okay. So, is the train station still in play? Okay, look, honey, they're not going to get married on a train. No, they're not getting married on the train. They're on the platform. Did you not read the literature? No. Mom, it's just, it's not who I am. Well, what, are you too good for a train? Okay, I don't understand. Look, You've never look, ridden a train before? Okay, let's, let's, let's put the lid on the crazy. We are, we're train people. I don't know. What is so wrong with the train station? No, no, I don't no, get it. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's all going to be okay. She's oh. not well. <laughs> hey, I just had an interesting little uh, chat with Gus over here, and I'm pretty sure he's going to kill us. <laughs> Let's hit it! Get on a different snack schedule. 